residents will never leave. That is nice. Was you? Was it you? Was it you? Yay! Fuck. Dispatch now. And this one doesn't really matter which direction it goes. Four, eight, twelve, sixteen. Okay, here's the last two coming. They're coming. Boom. I'm gonna delete that one and move it over here. Never mind. Oh, I could move it down there. Six sculptures, two, four, five. Okay, that is six. Okay. Thanks, I guess. Selling. Have people been leaving despite Miss Aphrodite saying otherwise? Nope. Oh, yep. Yeah. Food from an Agora. Let's get some more orange pickers. Mr. Sheep? Please move your ass. Thing, Mr. Sheep here's bugged out. Tenders Lodge Chicken Tenders Lodge A boom Oh You're really getting there Well I'll be only four more marble Putting in the sculptures. A gift of wine. Just what I've never wanted. It's okay, I can re-gift it. To... yeah. There you go. And more. You know what? Oh yeah. Used to my camera being over there. You're welcome, bud. Scholars. Inventors. Curators. A science. Wow. Okay, um... 
industries. We can shut down marble and sculptures now. You know what? Any prey animals live in your city? Hunt you for them. Though your granaries may not be full now, you'll soon have enough food. Yay, 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 yay. No problem, Amphor. She's gonna go get the boars, cause boars are better than deer. I'm gonna need to open, okay it is accepting meat. Check this out, kaboom, kaboom, kaboom. Pew, oh pew, oh pew. Look at all them peoples coming to get me food. Yay! Now we can send for Lady Yu. And now you can start getting meat again. Oh boy. Okay, so is that the last thing I need to do? Yes, it is. Always getting the meat. Yeah. Now that Atalanta is here, you have nothing to fear. Well, that's nice. Uh, before that, though, I am going to wait. Where are you, Atlanta? There you are. Come on. This city is as wonderful as a golden apple. Cool. Um. This armor operating normally. Get an armor. No workers needed anymore. See, that's a pretty handy thing to do. You can change these numbers by doing that. However, the less that they make, I believe, will if they don't make enough for them to be happy, then it'll cause unrest. But I think normal and above, it's fine. But don't quote me on that. And here we are. Upgrade. Now we need a wine vendor. Okay, they will need food, fleece, and oil by the looks of things, so we should probably add those vendors. Food, fleece, oil. Get, get, okay. These people are fancy as shit. So... Oh, hang on. Um... Uh... 
Hmm. I do need to get wheat with in one of these because they need horses. Oh, yep. For the biggest one, looks like they need a museum. So I'm going to do this quickly. Take that. And... Come on. Please. There we are. Got that armor coming. I've got a feeling I've got wine and stuff coming. Possibly food. Food coming. More food coming. Wow. Hungry, hungry hippos. Okay, and I just realized really that uh, this I hadn't sent that chick on her way. So I've got to send her on her way. Atlanta. Dispatch. So, there's not anything to watch for her hunting the giant beasties. So we just kind of wait. There. That's all set. So this one is going to have... Armor, wheat, wine, and then this stuff. You will not get wheat, but you will accept wheat. And now there's enough wheat. Happy day. That would probably make things Thanks a lot smoother. Atalanta. Our extra large animal problem is solved. I am happy to say that we did our part in controlling these creatures too. Using Oracalc, our scientists devised the most amazing weapon called Atlantean Fire. Oh yeah! There is nothing more majestic than watching blazing red Atlantean Fire fly through the air and hit its targets. When Atlantean fire strikes its victim, it adheres to the unsuspecting subject, causing quite a lot of pain. That gopher sure didn't like Atlantean fire much. <laughs> can you believe that Arakulk, which decorates pyramids so beautifully, can be transformed by our scientist into a deadly weapon? You should really try it out for yourself. Just build a tower or frigate wharf. Once these buildings have received some oracle, the workers there will make Atlantean fire. You'll be thrilled with the result. It seems that several smaller beasts have escaped Artemis and Atalanta's nets and snares. Luckily, our own armies have had little trouble killing these hideous half-man, half-horse creatures. Centaurs! The half-men, half-horse monsters have done the unthinkable. They have attacked and completely destroyed Uemus. I credit the gods with your uncle Uemon's successful escape, but we must prepare ourselves against further attack. The gods have already done so much for us. I think that we can handle this particular monster problem ourselves. 
Take care to fortify Atlantis, lest these murderous brutes set their sights on you. Okay, who is that guy? Who's the narrator being? Because he's a dick. I forgot they needed access to roads. Hup, these. Cool beans. Choose me. And you'll never have to fear fire. That's pretty good. <laughs> 